السلام علیکم فرینڈز دس از سامی اینڈ یو ار واچنگ سول انجینئرز یوٹیوب چینل ڈیر فرینڈز مینی اسٹوڈنٹ دے ہیو اے کویسچن دیٹ وائی بارز ار بینڈ اینڈ سلیپ نیئر ایٹ سپورٹ سو دس از دی امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک فار ٹوڈے اینڈ آئی ہیو ٹو کلیئر دس پوائنٹ دیٹ وائی بارز ار بینڈ اینڈ سلیپ نیئر ایٹ سپورٹ اوکے سو لیٹس گیٹ سٹارٹ فار ریڈنگ آرٹیکل اباؤٹ دس ویڈیو اینڈ ٹیکسٹ فارم سو یو ار ایبل ٹو وزٹ مائی ویب سائٹ www.civilstudents.com اینڈ ڈونٹ فرگیٹ ٹو لائک دس ویڈیو اینڈ شیئر دس ویڈیو وتھ یور فرینڈز اینڈ آلسو سبسکرائب دس چینل فار مور سول انجینئرنگ اپڈیٹ ویڈیوز فار ڈیلی okay so first of all i will tell you that what is the shape of bent up bar okay in slab okay so this is the steel bar okay and we bend the bar near its support okay so this is the support so near its support we bend the bar with 45 degree okay so this is bent okay so why bars are bent uh, in slab near its support okay so bars are bent near its support an angle of 45 degree okay so i have already told you here that it should be uh, bent with 45 degree and also we can uh, bend the bar and beam with 45 degree okay so here are some points that why we uh, bend the bar near its support okay so bars are bent near its support to okay so to resist shear force because shear force is greater at supports therefore we provide bent up bar or bend the bar near its support and also to resist the negative bending moment other point okay to reduce the risk of a brittle failure of slab and column connection okay and other point to reduce amount of steel and slab okay when you provide the bend of bar and slab okay so it reduce amount of steel because it can increase the strength of the slab okay so when we increase the strength of the slab so we can use uh, okay so bent up bar uh, bent up bar can reduce the amount of steel and slab because bent up bar can increase the strength of the slab okay and to increase the strength of rcc slab right other point okay so remember that bent of bar are provide at the top of the portion of the support okay so it should be used on the top of not at the bottom of the slab it should be provide at the top of the portion in the slab keep in your mind this point okay so other normally for fixed end it slabs positive sagging moment or bending moment are present at the mid span and negative hogging bending okay bending hogging and negative we can call that bending is called hogging okay and for the positing we called it sagging okay so hogging moment at the support okay so what is sagging okay because i've already told you that for fixed end it slab positive sagging moment are present at the mid span okay at the mid span how so look at this so this is the slab okay and the load is upcoming here okay in this diagram okay in these two are the supports okay so when the load is coming right so here it can make a shape like this okay so it's called sagging that's why because the because the fixed end it slab positive sagging okay so this is the positive sagging okay this is the positive sagging so the positive sagging are present at the mid span okay so it's present at the mid span okay and negative hogging moment at the support okay so it is the in the support so this is the uh, so these are the supports okay so hogging can produce in the supports so this is uh, very important uh, that what is hogging and also sagging because the hogging can be produced with the negative bending moment and sagging can be produced in the positive bending moment okay so this is the important topic for today because uh, uh, we uh, we bent up bar uh, in the slab near its support uh, to resist the shear force and also i have already told you and to resist the bending moment and also to reduce the brittle failure of the slab and column connection okay so um, these are the important points therefore we provide the bend up bar near its support and slab okay but it should be with 45 degrees okay for more videos you must like this video and share this video with your friends thanks for watching bye bye